<laughs> oh! Oh! Wait, wait. I can't see you that well. Oh, well. Hey there. Uh, I was not expecting you to come so soon. My name is Freddy, and I'm a firefighter. A person who puts out fires. Whoa, Freddy, look out, look out, look out! Oh. Oh. Sorry, Freddy. Rex, why did you have to do that? What are you doing? I'm going to take you on a walk. I'm sorry, Freddy. I didn't see you there. By the way, wait. Who are those people? You, you, didn't, you didn't tell me we were going to have company. Well, sorry about that, but I didn't know they were going to be here either. Oh, well, why do you got company here? Well, I'm going to be talking about fire safety. Oh, fire safety? Can I help? Well, do you know anything about fire safety? Uh, sadly, no. Well, that's okay, Rex. I can help you. And all the boys and girls out there, they can learn alongside with you. Well, that sounds really cool. All right. So, welcome to A Guide to Fire Safety, starring me and Rex. Let's get started. Okay, so what's first? Well, let's start things out simple. Let me show you and the people watching how they can prevent fires from happening in their own home. Sounds good to me. All right, so in preventing fires in your home, there's a few items you should consider. Like a dog bone? Nah, more like a heater. A heater? Yes, heaters have been a common cause of fires in households for years, largely from them being too close to flammable objects or damaged cords. Uh, one question. What does flammable mean? It's anything that can easily catch on fire, such as duct tape, paper, cooking oil, and cotton products. Oh, uh, I guess I can't use any of those products anymore due to them causing fires. No, 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 no. Not at all. You can still use them, just not around fire. Good. I was not ready to give up my cotton toys like my girlfriend gave up on me. Another item to watch out for is matches. Wow, do people still use matches? Sadly, yes. And it's very important that if you see matches, don't touch them. And if you're a kid, then you should tell an adult and they'll take care of it. Ah, uh, okay. I'll make sure to tell those alley cats outside to stop playing with the matches. They could get seriously hurt. Well, good job. Here are some more things you can do to prevent fires. First, unplug anything that you're not currently using. Not only does that save energy, but it could also prevent flames. While we're on the subject of wires, you want to make sure you don't plug in any cords that are damaged or chewed on by your pet. Those can spark and potentially cause a fire. Oh man, what am I supposed to do with all these chewed cables then? Throw them out, you shouldn't even be chewing on those. You could get shocked or electrocuted. Puh. Okay. <laughs> so while Rex cries a river, let's talk about what happens when there is a fire. Wait, wait, wait! How can you tell if there even is a fire? Well, it's simple. Look up. Huh? There's no fire on the ceiling. No, 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 no. Do you see that round white thing with the little red dot? Wait, what? Oh, I see it now. That's a smoke detector. Its main job is to alert you to any form of smoke or fire in your house. Well, it seems like a nice guy. Yeah, but when it detects smoke, you may hear this noise. Ah! Ah! Oh god, it's so loud! Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh it's hurting! Oh, stop it! Make it stop! Oh! Yeah, it's loud, but it's important. Yes, 
but make it stop! Okay, okay, okay. But here's this noise. Huh. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's the noise it makes when it needs its batteries changed. Now, it's very important that you have a smoke detector in every room, so go check to make sure you have that, okay? Okay, Freddy. I'll make sure every room has a smoke detector. Here I go. One hour later. <sighs> All right, Freddy. I'm back. Oh. 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 All right, Rex. Get some rest, because this next part is a big one. Okay, so now I can tell you what to do in case there's a fire. Ooh, 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 let me guess. You do karaoke. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. Uh, no. No musical instruments needed. First, you shouldn't attempt to put out the fire, because you could actually cause further destruction, especially if it's an electrical fire or a grease fire. Wait a second. I thought you were supposed to put out the fire with water. That may work sometimes, but it's best to actually use a fire extinguisher. That's why it's also important to keep one of those in your house. And if you don't know what it looks like, here it is. It's a pretty one, isn't it? Ah, okay. But what if you're trapped in a room, and the fire is surrounding you? If you're ever in a situation like that, then you should try your absolute best to get out. Never, ever, ever hide. You should also never breathe in the smoke, as it could cause damage to your lungs. Ah, wait, where do I go? What do I do? How do I get out? Well... You should try your door first. Place your hand on the door, and if it's hot, don't open it. If not, then you can open it, and that's your gateway to escaping. If the door isn't available, try the window. It's your next best option. Oh boy, do I get to do one of those cool stunts where I jump through a window? Mm, not exactly. It's best to just open it and climb out. Once you're outside, go to a pre-planned meeting spot, like your mailbox, or you see that big tree over there? I know you guys can't see it because of uh, the light, but for me and Rex, you can easily see the tree. It's also important to stay out. Do not ever go back into a fire. Leave that to the firefighters such as myself. But what about my precious, priceless items? They're all going to get destroyed. That's very true, but that's why we have insurance, and that's not our topic right now. What about my pets? My dog, my cat, my goldfish, my chinchilla. Well, just like yourself, you should try and get your pets out as best as you can. But if you can't, the firefighters can help you. So you mentioned a pre-planned meeting spot. And to use windows and doors to escape. Yes. What if kids watching don't know where each window, door, or meeting spot is? I mean, it's not like each house has a map. Actually, they could get their parents' help and create a map that details every window and door, as well as their meeting spot. Go over it frequently, and they might understand it better. Not when the house is on fire, obviously. Yeah, I know, not during a fire, but that's why it's called pre-planning. What happens if I get caught on fire? What do I do? Jump in a bathtub? Shark tank? Shamu's tank? <laughs> no. But this is important. First, you should stop in place. Don't run around whatever you do. Next, you should drop to the floor. And then... You play possum! No, you don't play possum. You roll. Like whenever somebody asks your dog to roll on the ground at dog shows and such. If you need a better example, watch this video. See? They stop drop, and roll. Also, it's really important that you cover your face because you don't want there to be any smoke in your eyes. Alright, so let's say I'm watching TV and there's a fire right outside my window. 
and there's a fire outside my door. What do I do? Well, that's extremely unlikely, but in that case, make sure that whenever the firefighters come, make yourselves present. Shout out from your window, or wave your hands to get their attention. And you know what? That leads me to my next point. So once we're out of the fire, how do we get help? Well, it's simple. I mean, it's not that hard for somebody to miss a large fire. But you should always go to your neighbor's house and tell them to call 911. 911? What's that? Oh, oh, oh! Is that like a video game cheat code? <laughs> no. It's the number that you call on the phone if you're ever in danger. Ah, oh, cool. So it's like a delivery service. I guess, but it's important to know that this number is only for emergencies, not for fun. You understand? Oh, I knew that. I'm a smart dog. Yeah, sure you are. But anyway, get somebody to call the number and report the fire to the fire department, and they will show up and handle it. So we can expect a bunch of clones of you to put out the fire. Yeah, I guess you could say that. But now it's important to remember that if you're trapped, make sure your presence is known so the firefighters can rescue you. Now one more thing. You won't see this face when you're in a fire. What, what, what do you mean? I mean, I have to stay safe from the fire too. And to stay safe, I have some extra clothing. Clothing? Or more specifically, a mask. Oh, like the masks I see people wear all the time nowadays. You just made this video very outdated, but no, it's a little bit different. How different? Take a look. Oh wow, that's creepy! Oh my goodness! Yes, but it's necessary for our safety. But we want to let everybody know that you shouldn't be scared if you see this. They are here to help you, not eat you. I don't know, man. He looks like a deformed elf. That's a weird way to put it, but do you see that thing on his nose? Uh, yeah, it does kind of look like a nose. Well, that piece is connected to an air tank. That's similar to a school backpack. But instead of carrying books, it carries oxygen, so that the firefighters can breathe without getting sick. Okay, that makes sense. Ah, uh, good. Well, it's getting kind of late, and you still need to go on a walk. Yeah, I gotta poo! That's very unnecessary, but okay. So to all you people watching, I hope you learned something very valuable today. And remember to stay safe. Oh, and one more thing. Make sure you subscribe to Nathan. He would very much appreciate that. Alright, Freddy. I can't hold it much longer. I gotta go now! Alright, I'm coming. See you soon. Oh, too late. Rax! Mm. Rax, I can't believe you did that.